To fight without reward is to fight with grace. It's not for the money, it's nor is it for the position. And these guys, or nor is it for a sense of power. It's something else. It's pure, simple devotion to your idea. Hello and welcome to the Hamara Itihas Archives. We are at the home of the legendary artist Krishan Khanna. And so much of his work is bound to the history of India. Thank you so much, Krishanji, for having us over in your home and your studio. Most grateful to you. Well, I'm welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Where were you born? <laughs> well, whether I was born at all, in fact. <laughs> I was born in Lalpur, which is now uh, Faisalabad in Pakistan. I have uh, no memory of it, of course, because we moved very soon after I was born, I think a year or you know, something, a year and a half. Krishanji, uh, I want to ask you, when did you actually start drawing? I think there's a story of your father bringing a painting of Leonardo da Vinci home. Yes. It, 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 it enters <coughs> surreptitiously. I wasn't told to do this, told to do that. Nobody told me to do anything. But I was just inclined. I saw him doing things. And that spurred me on to do, you know, whatever I did and so on. Every Sunday, we used to have these drawing and painting sessions. The whole family, by the way, not me, not me alone. Everyone was drawing and Everybody painting? Everybody was drawing and painting. This family, actually, we were all brought up on drawing and painting. You see, these are influences that crept in, and, and this was taken not as a speciality at all. Um, quality didn't seem to matter. It was the action that mattered. You really got to be doing the, the the work, the job. You've got to love your drawing. You've got to, you know, you've got to go percolate right inside what drawing really means. Out of that little pencil head, what are you going to get out of it? You know, it can do so many things, and the discovery of those many things is endless. What's the journey from an idea to the final formulation of a painting? Do you know the form, final formulation? I don't even think that there is a final formulation for me now. It will happen probably when I die, and it will be finished, you know. So that's when it happens. That's when finito. But it goes on churning. I mean, as one is not, you don't sort of learn drawing and then continue the same old thing year in and year out. It is not like that, you know. common idea is that uh, ski drawing board is here, as if uh, that is a faculty <coughs> which is learnt, is there, he is competent and so on. Well, it may or may not be all these things, you know, but the main thing is, is the driving force inside. I don't, I, I can't even begin to describe that, but it is there which then forces you to find out what the drawing is all about. How do you draw?
You know, it's a, people think that you, uh, you're an artist and the world is at your feet. It's not. It's, it's, a, it's a hard, hard grind. I used to paint every single night. Uh, for, uh, come home at, at about 7.30 in the evening, 7, 7.30 I was home. Then I have a bath and a change and dinner with the children around me. And that was nice. And then the church, soon after that, at 9 o'clock, about 8.30, they'd go to bed. And then my work would start as a painter then. And it would go on to 3 o'clock, 3.30, every night. Every night. So it's not easy. It's certainly not. Mm. I'm so glad you shared this. So, and at my first exhibition, I... <laughs> that was really funny. Did um, you sell ever in the first exhibition? One painting. But that is something too. But you know, there are certain recurring themes. You said that when you were seven, you first painted The Last Supper, but then you seem to paint The Last Supper. You seem to paint Christ. I have painted The Last Supper many times. And, and you know, betrayal and but that's what, Yeah, but these are, you know, I mean, they, 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 these things happened. I mean, we know the Bible. We know what happens in the Bible, for instance, okay? But you see similarities happening right around you. You don't have to read the. You don't have to think about the 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 thing is a very special instance, in, in way back in the past. It's right now. So where do you see Christ? You don't see Christ. You see the things happening of betrayal, and Christ could be any man. Could be any good person. And you see betrayal all the time. All the time. Sure. In other words, what, what was necessary is conviction in what you're doing. Ethics. Not the, it's not for the money. It's nor is it for the position. And these guys, or nor is it for a sense of power. It's something else. It's, it's a devotion. It's a, it's a devotion which is endless. And a devotion which has no conditions. It's pure, simple devotion to your idea. And the idea for the politician to be he's, he's serving the country. Well, that that's is true. not happening today. Well, and that brings me to another of your paintings. The blind king and the blind <laughs> yes. queen. Yes, so that's the, the beginning of the Mahabharata. I mean, this is what it happened there, you know. But you take off from the Mahabharat, but is is it not an allegory of power? Of course, it's an allegory of power. Of course, it is. So, I mean, the Mahabharat is nothing new. It happened then. It's happening now, and we've not learned too many lessons. I don't think. I don't think that you know. Morally, we are better. You know what is it that keeps you going? Because you've just had a birthday, and you turned. 94. Mm. And you're going to have an exhibition very soon. Yeah. Which means age is just a number because you're still painting, you're active, you're... Of course I'm active. At Vikram Sit, the poet, and he's a good friend of mine, he came and he came and was in my studio we were talking around and so on. And we got on to the subject of uh, dying. I said, you know, I just wish that when I'm, when I'm going, and you'll find my body at the bottom of my easel, you know, an unfinished painting or something. 
He says, funny thing you say that, because I just wish that when I die, it's the last sonnet that I'm writing with the last two lines missing. Ah, <laughs> that is pretty. Isn't it amazing, no? You went to Bombay, you joined the Greenlays Bank and you came in contact with a progressive artist group. There was the well, Mehta, within a week of being there. Emi Fusen, Raza, yeah, but uh, it, it, You know, the, uh, these, I don't know, this is, these things happen. No. And I was a new boy to it anyway. So uh, I had my lunch hour and I walked out. I didn't know Bombay at all. So I walked down the road and then, then came around to, I saw Bombay Art Society. Okay. And there was, Sousa was having a show. And they thought Sousa's work was horrible. Yes. But there was a naked picture of Sousa. You see, now then, then I, I commented on this thing. I said, you know, they probably see lots of naked people in the morning having a bath at a pump. They're not, they're not shattered by that. But they see it as a work of art. Yes, they're shattered. See, there's a, there's a kind of a commentary on what society wants, what it likes. Not all society, large parts of it. The progressive artist movement has had a huge impact on art in India. It did. After the assassination of Gandhiji. Yes. And you also have a painting on that. Yes, and I did this one year afterwards. It's called News of Gandhiji's Death. People reading newspapers. Yes. And this is exactly what I saw in Corner Circus that evening. When I was going home, and you know, this news had come out, and we were all feeling pretty bad. And as I walked, as I went into the corner circus, there's that island there for first to see that. And then there was that one lamppost there, and then everybody crowding around in to read. Everybody was reading newspapers, sitting there into the whole thing. And, and it made a lasting impression on me. It lasted enough for me to carry it for a, a, over a year. And I saw this thing happening, you see, and I painted it. Now, quite frankly, I don't think it was a great painting. I mean, it it was not like, no, but it was very great in another way. And because, I mean, the subsequent history has proven that. Um, uh, this lady who bought it, I mean, this has changed hands, it was stolen and all sorts of things. Happened. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so she, finally, this lovely lady has it and she's thrown it all over Europe and all over Germany and everywhere and it's locked up in New York somewhere now. What impressed me to fill my canvas, all the communities were ready there. People with their fetch caps and people with the puggies and all sorts of people and going home on a bicycle, the chap just stops over there and to read a paper, you know. So it actually, and the newspapers become the foil through which everybody's heads are seen, hands are seen. And anxiety is written large on this. Even now when you see it, you get very, it's anxiety. And did you have that idea when you started or does it happen while you It happens work? as you go. It begins with some little nodal thing which, will, which can disappear or extend itself. And that happens. It's a fuzzy feeling. And then, you know, after you've, after you've made your engagement with whatever you're doing, then things, then the, the picture starts talking back to you. Well, that brings me to your famous band, Wala. Yeah, but I mean, you know, famous or not. I mean, people call it famous. I, I mean, okay, I but what, what motivated you? Because you've done because lots they came of from, Like all of us, uh, the, the, we came from the, that part of the Punjab. The band Wala's also had to come, these great fellows who uh, rejoice at every wedding and so on. But what are they to do, poor guys, you know? When they come here, Nobody wanted to sort of play bands at that stage. They're concerned with living. How do you, how do you, how do you live? L living becomes the important thing, not playing bands and music and all that kind of stuff. And they then have to improvise what they do. 
they lived in little colonies, you know, across the Jamna. And they, it was a pretty tough life. And then they had to appear to be good, but they were damn poor at that stage. They walked home off with their, their, their uniforms are tattered and all this. Stuff. And, and then, you know, the family, the family, the whole family comes. The old man is also there. And we don't believe in him because they're old to um, abandon them. So he said, Chalo, Chacha Ji, tu si mi nal chalo. So, you know, so the Chacha Ji comes along and they give him a triangle in his hand. He said, Jadho marzi hai ji, tin tin kar de na. So, that's it. And this fascinated me that this whole thing, you know, uh, it's, it's fascinating to see how people are making a living and yet, yet loving what they're doing. Loving what they're doing. Yeah. I think that's it. It's called betrayal. It's called betrayal or flagellation. That's the flagellation and this is the betrayal. To begin with, tell me what do you mean by betrayal? Well, in the case of the Bible, it, the first meaning is that, that he said to the Romans, how, he says, how will we know him in this crowd? How will we know that that's Jesus? So he says, I'll go and kiss him. And thereby hangs the story of, you know, all the poetry. You know, the, the, uh, the coward does it with a kiss. The brave man with a sword, you know. So, uh, he is betraying Christ. In a, this is the real biblical sense of it. Now, the what other. What do you mean by. No, and the, the other thing is that he also believed that, okay, the, the Romans can do what the hell they like, they can do it, but he is God, so nothing can happen to him. Even I, if I go and say, all right, betrayal, I'll go and kiss him. But nothing will happen to him. But he was so wrong, huh? No, but you have said that Christ is not an icon. You don't pray, paint Christ as Christ. I'm not painting Christ as an icon. So what do you mean by betrayal today? No, by, well, by betrayal, the, 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 what, what do you think is happening in the Congress party right now? And what, is, what do you think is happening in, in, in uh, Karnataka? Mm. Uh, these, I think they are wholesale betrayals. You know, one would imagine that you're joining a party, as if, like when I joined the, the, the Progressive Painters group, if tomorrow I turned around and, and started cursing them and uh, Hussein and so on and all the rest, we could discuss threadbare each other's work, and we did, you know. But to then go around talking about him, that he's this, he's that, he's that, and so on. And what about flagellation? This is well, so Well, the, the, the beat the hell out of him is still, a, it's still, it's, it's still in vogue, isn't it? I mean, you're well, if you're reading the papers, like there's not a not a day that you find out the 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 way the people are, you know, being lynched. Yeah, not lynched. Well, that too, of course. But I mean, the police when they get hold of them, they use these method methodology. To get the truth out. So this is about authority beating the daylights of the poor, the marginalized, or anyone. Yeah, Christ, it, Christ was not just a poor man. They were not afraid of the poor. This is not Marxism. They, this man has said that the spirit is weak. And the, the, there's something fault there. You know. mm. Your flesh is feeling good. Yeah, the, he, he said that the, the spirit is corrupt. Again, this is very violent. Um, it, this is untitled, Pencil on Paper. Pencil on Paper.
So what do you think is the evil of our times? Uh, the evil of our times. The evil of our times is uh, I wouldn't say that everything is evil. Either. Hmm. You know. It's not everything is evil, but if what is, what is evil, what is wrong, I think, is that money is becomes the the value, and everything is measured thereby. Which is very very sad, but it is sad. I think it's very sad. Art world is is also very much uh, party to that. Well, don't want who? Why should one be a? I'm not. I don't want to be a party to it. No, I know, but. People do measure the success of the artist by the sale of his painting. They're not looking at the work. The how much did you get for it? You know, I mean, you could. There's all sorts of ways in which you can you can bribe. You can go through uh, uh, auction houses. You can give pictures to people to you know get phony bids being made to jack up the bids. I mean, all this is machination, isn't it? Yeah, but what good is what does this good do to your spirit? I mean? Now I want to talk to you about rising of uh, Lazarus. I mean, you know, yeah. there's so much. There's this drawing. I mean, there is. Yeah, so I think it, it, this is the story of Lazarus. You see, hmm. I mean, the Christ wasn't Christ wasn't uh, actually involved in this. He was. I mean, they asked him. That uh, uh, he was talking about good, good actions. So he says, well, "What? What good actions?" Somebody asked him this, what? and he says, "I'll give you an example. That the man comes in from the to the city somewhere. He's belayed by robbers, and they they beat the hell out of him, and, and they disappear. They, and this is common factor. You read the, any newspaper now; it's got the story yeah. in it." So, um, the one man goes and he says, "Oh well, you know, these things happen, and you go on, and you have the other guy who says, 'Oh, what is going to happen, yar?' And he stops by, he winds him up in cloth, and that is Christ. And and it's not Christ. It's not Christ. It's what Christ says a good person does." So a good person, he is so from Samaria, obviously a, 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 a trader from Samaria, who did it. So it's a good Samaritan, you see. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I love your work on the subaltern, the tea drinker act, Nizam. <laughs> of course, <laughs> that, that dhabas is are the equivalent of the pub. And what about Gyanji ka dhaba? Yeah, that's the same thing. Same thing. And then you've done a lot. Gyani ji, the the guy you've taught that they say Gyani ji produces the best naan and the best dal. Sab wahan jayenge, fir you know. And then it becomes a great talking thing inside. People talk, and, you know, all this kind of things happening there. So the, I think that I'm surprised that that, that dhaba hasn't been uh, taken up as a subject matter uh, by, by Indian painters any. But the, you have. I can't think of one. But you have. I many. I mean, I think the dhaba is the central is our club. The dhaba is the club where people meet. And then, uh, of course, your famous musicians. Yeah, uh, because I love music, and, and I, love music. I was involved with all these uh, these guys. They used to play in my house and in in, in Madras, yeah. and I knew them all. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Then I must come to uh, something I absolutely love: the Blind King and the oh, King yeah, King yeah, yeah, yeah. Queen. Mm. What are you trying to say? This is an amazing, amazing, amazing one. I mean, actually, it's quite evident. Mm? It's quite evident what you're saying. Yeah, it Both. is. I think basically, when people say, "What does it mean?" I said, "You're looking at it. You find out what it means." Well, those yeah. who rule us are blind.
And these are your wonderful sculptures, yeah, which yeah. I think are lovely. <laughs> I think it's wonderful the way you are willing to experiment with various, various. Do I have? I've done that. I, I, I delved into to several things like you know graphics as well. I went into graphics and stone. Actually, that I did long before I before I even started painting. Yeah. Graphics and all from little stones. I worked in a printing press, you know, before I, 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 uh, before partition, after I left college. You were an apprentice to a printing press, yes? yes? And yes. I then finally became the works manager of the press. And then the partition happened, and I took eight days leave and never went back till much later and went back as a painter. <laughs> Supposed to be a master of lines, but I see that you don't really you you give us the feeling. Sometimes depends. And then you even had a group of the progressive artists as, as, as a, that, that, that's last, in this book, I think, isn't it? That's the Last Supper there. Yeah, I mean, that's, like, a, that's, a, a, that's a, a, hardly the Last Supper, but it, who, <laughs> well, who is is that Hussein? This is Hussein in the in the center. Mm -hmm. Bal Chabla. This is Tayyip Mehta. This is Souza. That's Souza. This is Akbar. Uh -huh. This is Bhopin Kakhar. This is uh, Jairam Patel. And that's Jogan Choudhury. This is Gaiton Deh from the back. This is Manjeet Baba. Yes. And this is Raza. This is uh, and this is Swami Nathan. Lovely. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. I did this as a you know what's the name? He said, "Why don't you paint me a picture of all the artists?" I said, "Yes, sir, I'll paint them for you." Then that's, I gave away this painting. Yeah, it's a much sought after painting. Who did you give it to? <laughs> I think it's finally it, it, uh, to Saffron Art. They, they, they bought it. Brazil All right. Hmm. I just love these. Yeah, yeah, I did. You know? I've Children done a lot of them. them. You know? Yeah, yeah, I love, love doing them. Okay, now I want to ask you as we end uh, this wonderful time with you thank you for your time but i want a message for this coming generation what having lived life so fully with so much color and with so much passion what do you have to say to the new generation do the same thing just do what you want to do and do it with with full full speed ahead you know don't think about it don't think of don't think of consequences there's a wonderful line in uh, herbert reed's poem it's, it talks about war. It's one of his war poems. And he says, To fight without reward is to fight with grace. Hmm? You know. But so does the Gita tell you that. So don't think of the reward. You don't think of reward. You don't. No, the, the reward is, you know, ye ho jayega, dek, dek jayega, ye hoega, you become a shake chili, you know. No consequences, and there's no end to that kind of stuff. So follow your passion. Follow, yeah. If you follow your passion, there's no end to it. And what about politically? I mean, you live through partition. What do you have to say to us? I quote you, T. S. Eliot again. He has said, "To communicate with Mars, converse with spirits, read tragedy from fingers. All these are pastimes and drugs and features of the press, and always will be." It's from this. Shores of Asia to Edgeware Road, men's curiosity searches past and future and clings to that dimension. But 
to comprehend the point of intersection of timelessness with time is an occupation fit for the saint. No saint either, but something given and taken in a lifetime of love and self-surrender. That's a beautiful poem. It's a long poem. Lovely. Well, I thank you so much for giving your valuable time to the yeah, Hamara yeah. Itihas yeah. Archive yeah. and for sharing your beautiful poetry and paintings. <laughs> um, much gratitude. Thank you so much. Not at all. You just heard the legendary painter Krishan Khanna speak to us about his life, his work and his art. A life lived with passion, integrity and compassion. Thank you for watching the Himara Itihas Archive.